Good evening, I'm Ben Kuchnerkavich filling in for Noel tonight. Few showers and thunderstorms have developed across Upper Michigan. We've been watching them for the past few hours, especially towards portions of Schoolcraft County right now. These are occasionally producing some briefly heavy rainfall for us, as well as some areas of lightning. Just off the shoreline of Manistique right now, we've seen a thunderstorm start to move out over Lake Michigan. This is not, none of these are severe by any means out there. As we head off towards the north, we're looking at another storm that's moving east of Seney right now towards portions of Luce County traveling along M77, M28, that little corridor in there. As for the wider perspective, high pressure has moved off towards the south and east. Now it's right over Ohio. It brought us our nicer weather to start the week. Now we're dealing with occasional showers and thunderstorms. We have a trough and a few upper level disturbances moving over the area. That'll keep chances for at least isolated showers and thunderstorms into the overnight hours tonight. Future radar and wind gusts. Wind gusts are expected to come down as we head through the overnight hours, but we'll continue to see occasional showers and storms. Maybe a bit of an uptick in the activity in the Copper Country in Keweenaw, where we're seeing a bit of a break. That would come around 11 o'clock according to Futurecast here. As we head through the remainder of the overnight hours, occasionally moderate showers and a few rumbles of thunder will be possible for us before we start to see the activity wind down, making for a nice Saturday. Estimated future rainfall will be less than half an inch across all of Upper Michigan, though some areas, if you do pick up on those heavier storms like that are moving through Schoolcraft County right now, you could see a bit more than that. Some areas, Futurecast showing towards Misery Bay here on Tanagan Houghton County is not picking up on much in the way of measurable rainfall at all. Isolated shower or thunderstorm tonight some patchy fog also possible tomorrow morning. Lows will be in the mid to upper 60s along the shorelines, more like low to mid 60s for inland areas. For your Saturday along the shorelines, we could see an isolated shower or storm pop up in the afternoon from Schoolcraft County off toward the south and east, like along US 2 if you're headed toward the bridge, but otherwise mostly sunny skies expected. Highs will be in the low to mid 70s along the shorelines. Inland areas mid to upper 70s, a few lower 80s are looking like a good bet as well. Along the shorelines for tomorrow, we could be seeing waves 1 to 2 feet. Winds will be on the order of about 5 to 10 knots for us. 7-day forecast looks like this. We're looking at another nice day coming up here for your Sunday. Isolated shower or thunderstorm could develop again for Monday afternoon. Another isolated storm on Tuesday. Then we cool down big time for Wednesday, only around 70. More scattered showers to end the week, Cody.